I have always been a little bit confused on Volkov. And I'm not trying to be a jerk right here in the least, but I don't have a terribly nice way to say it. It's as though somewhere over time, it's going to be revealed to us that Volkov has like an uncle or an aunt or somebody within the ranking department. I have the foggiest idea how he got to where he's at. His record is very decent, for sure. His significant wins come over... Well, okay, not a significant win, but a meaningful win would be when he beat... Well, here, here's a win that I can tell you with Volkov without even looking. Just, But a win that he has... This one's baffling. The first time I ever heard of Volkov, he had weighed in to be a replacement fighter for the heavyweight championship between Stipe versus DC the first time. The first time I've heard of him. That's not a knock on him. That appears that Chael needs to do a little bit better research. So I started. Okay, they got this guy, Volkov. I better look into this guy. He's a tall drink of water, and they're saying he could fill in as soon as tomorrow night and fight for the strap. What's wrong with me? So he gets booked in another fight, and this was the first time I was able to lie, uh, put eyes on him. And he got worn down and finished by an out-of-shape Derek Lewis at the last minute. I, I just don't have a whole lot of pleasantries to put on this. And this isn't while well, trying to be a jerk. It's actually just the opposite. I'm merely setting the stage for you that if he goes out and gets the jump on Curtis Blades, that's going to mean something and maybe mean something extra for me. I'm not denying a guy's skills just because he hasn't had meaningful fights and meaningful wins. I am a little bit baffled how in a perennial division like heavyweight, you get a guy with no meaningful wins, arguably no meaningful fights. I can't remember a headlining fight. I can't remember a, a, a co-main spot. Doesn't mean they didn't happen. I just can't recall them for you that he was in and or won. Not only do I believe he's not in the five-round club, I don't know that he has ever been scheduled for five rounds aside from this match coming up with Curtis Blades. But that does beg you a lot of questions, particularly when he wore out against Derek Lewis. And you can tell me that he got knocked out. I saw him get knocked out. It's why. He didn't have his feet under him. He was too tired to keep his hands up. He got caught on the chin by a guy who was exhausted and threw a Hail Mary. None of this is a knock. I'm sharing with you, when I look at the rankings, I have been genuinely baffled as to how he has been in the top five for a period of time. Win over Curtis Blades. We're singing his praises. Win over Curtis Blades would only solidify with the Poindexters that put a number next to his name in the first place saw that I did it. No part of this is me putting down Volca. This is me getting ready. Go. Everybody's telling me something. I'm left to believe the experts. The experts who hide in a room behind a moniker never stepping forward and telling us who they are. But okay, fine. That's just the way that this goes. And then secondly, are one of you related to this guy? Just by the way, are one of you related to this guy, Volkov? Now... Let's look at the other side of this. What more could Curtis Blades really do to fight for a championship? I mean, he put himself in a tough spot. Uh, he went out there and fought Angano, a guy nobody wanted to fight. He didn't like the outcome of that, so he said, let me fight him again. He fought him again. He got stopped again. Both fights were less than 30 seconds or thereabouts, okay? I don't know that that should be a knock on Curtis Blades. Look, I, I understand it's going to be a knock in him leapfrogging Angano. I get that, but I see that as uh, good job, Curtis. I mean, I see that as a competitor. He lost to one of the scariest guys in the sport, definitely the scariest guy in the division. When you're just using the word scary, Francis is very scary. He said, put me in there again. We can't get anybody to get in there the first time with Francis. Curtis Blades walked out there, did that twice, and I'll bet you if you give him an opportunity, he'll walk out there and do it a third time. But what do you do with Curtis? Where does the motivation come when a path to a championship is so unclear? Well, I don't know that it's all that unclear. I don't know that I quite see it that way. Now, you're going to need some ifs and some buts, but that's what dreams are made of. That's what this happens to this sport all the time. See Gilbert Burns for a recent example. If and buts happen all the time. If Daniel Cormier beats Stipe, but doesn't return as he said he's going to do, heavyweight championship is vacant. I don't believe Stipe is going to step right back in for that. I think he's going to need some downtime, let somebody else pick it up. He's going to recover. I think you're going to see two fresh guys in there. I think I could sell you pretty quickly that Engano is going to be one half of that, but I think that I could sell you just as quickly that before we give some new guy that's all of a sudden found his balls an opportunity, how about giving it to the guy who had his balls from the beginning? Put him in a wheelbarrow twice 
and made that walk against the scariest guy in the division. Why would we overlook him? Just because he failed twice, he was willing to try twice. If he's willing to try a third time, I'm just offering for you. There is a scenario. The short term is not as bleak. Should Curtis Blades get the win over Volkov? The future as to where he goes is not as bleak as a pessimist may tell you. There's a lot of things that are going to happen in mid-August with the heavyweight division. If you eliminate Cormier, okay, great, but the path just got easier for everybody else. If Cormier eliminates Stipe and walks aside, you just open up a path for two guys. I would suggest for you, I will concede to you that Francis needs to be one of those two guys. I would suggest for you Curtis Blades needs to be the other.